Hi, welcome to the lecture series. In this video clip, I will introduce a very important concept in Chinese culture, which is Guangxi. First of all, what is Guangxi? It is the Chinese system of relationships. If you ask someone who speaks Chinese what Guangxi means, they will tell you it means relationships. This is true only in a limited sense. If the characters for Guangxi are translated directly, they mean joined chain. It's also be called Guangxi Wang. Wang means net, or large interconnected web. The character for Wang even looks like a web or net. Thus, when Chinese use the expression Guangxi Wang, they mean an interconnected web of relationships. In his book Chinese Negotiating Style, Lucian Pai describes Guanxi like this. Coupled with the Chinese concern about face is their concept of Guanxi, a word for which there is no English equivalent. It can be described as, a special relationship individuals have with each other, in which each can make unlimited demands on the other. Guanxi, which is closely linked psychologically, to the Chinese sense of dependency, and of face, rules that, if there is some kind of a bond, between two people, whether as close as blood relation, or as distant as being classmates or co-provincials, or even having grandparents, who are friends, then each can tax the other, and expect automatic special consideration. In China, Guanxi may define, both personal and business friendships. Although personal friendships may exist without Guanxi, business friendships are difficult for Chinese people, to express in the absence of a Guanxi relationship. It is both the way they understand, and define a relationship. Pai refers to interpersonal relationships as, a powerful web, that holds a person in place, and gives him a basic orientation in life. Such relationships are fragile. Almost no other culture gives such high importance to maintaining interpersonal relationships. The Chinese believe that success depends more on your guanxi and less on personal effort. Existence in society is defined by relationships with others. One cannot change the environment. Then, how important is guanxi in China? A case first my dad is Li Gang. It is a famous hit and run case, occurred in northern China, in October 2010, that exploded into an online scandal, known the Li Gang scandal. The case involved 23 year old Li Qi Ming, the rich, spoiled son of Li Gang, a powerful deputy police chief of the district. Driving around Airy Bay University, after some hard partying, the drunken Li crashed into two female students. One was seriously injured, and the other died from her injuries the following day. After a crowd and security guards managed to stop him from fleeing the scene, Li shouted, Go ahead and sue me if you dare, my father is Li Gang. After government censors tried to block the coverage, worried about the abuse of power angle, the story went viral online. There was so much public outrage, that days later, the father and son were giving effusive apologies on CCTV, China's national network. In addition to having to pay significant compensation, Li Qiming was sentenced to six years in prison afterwards. The phrase, My father is Li Gang, has become something of a bitter inside joke, in China, and a catchphrase, for shirking any responsibility with impunity, like washing the dishes, being faithful to a girlfriend. You might think this story is absurd in your country or culture, but it reveals the true color of Chinese way of social contacts and business. To succeed in China, you must learn lesson 1. How to establish your Guanxi.